Do you want to learn how grenade damage works in Psycho Frontier? Well, friends, my name is Rengar. Welcome back to another guide. Let's jump straight in. So jumping straight in, this guy is all things grenades. Now, there are four types of grenades in the game. There is the audio decoy and the smoke grenade, which are utility grenades. They don't do any damage. And then there are, I guess, lethal grenades. So there are explosive and there are gas grenades. Now, you can buy the gas grenades and the explosive grenades from the quick shop. You press F, go to consumables, and you could buy the explosive grenade or the gas grenade. Now, the explosive grenade is like your regular HE grenade where you throw it at the ground, it'll explode, dealing damage in an area, and it's just boom, one boom, and that's the damage. Now, the gas grenade actually lingers on the ground and does damage over time, and once you leave that gas, you are good to go, no more damage will be dealt. Now, there were a lot of questions about grenades that I had been asked and that I wanted answers to myself, like, do you, does armor affect grenades? Does different types of armor, for example, like a helmet or a body armor, do more to help you or does not help you at all? And then uh, also things like, does different rarities of armor help you more? So will a blue help me more than a green armor? Or does it not matter at all? And then do grenades mess with armor durability? Can I just destroy somebody's armor by hitting them with a grenade? So I wanted to answer all these questions, guys. We're going to hop into the results right now, and then I'll show you some testing afterwards. Enjoy. Answering the most hard-hitting question right away is does armor actually save me from grenades and the short answer is yes we'll dive more into this in a minute but i made a chart i'm going to be linking in the description after all the testing which compared the damage of the different types of grenades versus me when i'm wearing different types of armor so the explosive grenade when it was thrown at me with no armor which is this column right here i took 114 damage which is lethal because you only have 100 health in this game so it did 14 damage overkill and it killed me with no armor right on top of me. Now, the gas grenade also killed me. I stayed in it until I died because it does damage over time. It took three ticks of damage. So, 36.3 damage times three to kill me. So, it was three ticks from the gas grenade and just one explosive would kill me with no armor. Now, when I put on white armor, which is the uh, common stuff you can buy from the quick shop, it only did 84 damage to me from an explosive grenade. So, that's 30 less damage than before. And the gas grenade took an extra tick to kill me. So it was four ticks of 26.5 damage instead of just three ticks. Now this continue this trend continues onward and onward, where the green armor only did 66 damage from explosive grenade, and the gas grenade took five ticks to kill me, and the blue armor was 55 damage from explosive, and it took six ticks to kill me, and the purple armor actually got so low on damage that two grenades couldn't even kill you. It only did 47 damage from one grenade, and it took seven ticks of the gas grenade to kill me, which is a very long time. Now, I talked about how armor will uh, actually save you from these grenades, but not all of it does. Believe it or not, the helmet does not protect you at all from grenades. I talked about in my uh, armor pen video, I'll link that at the top if you haven't seen that, uh, that the body armor actually covers your entire body. So your arms, your chest, your legs, it covers everything, so that's what actually saves you. Your body armor determines how much damage you'll take from grenades. And we did test throwing it at my head and like making a head height, and it, it didn't matter. It just still did the same damage. And the grenades do actually destroy your armor as well. Not that fast. The HE grenade did usually about like a fourth of my armor, like a, maybe like a fifth of it. And the gas grenade severely damaged my armor. And when we tested it even wearing a helmet to see if the helmet helped, the helmet would be untouched, so no matter what we tried, the helmet would not get damaged from any of the grenades, whether it being gas or being explosive, only the body armor would get hurt, and the gas grenades did more damage to armor than the explosive grenades would. Now, I don't think it is viable to destroy somebody's armor with the uh, grenades, however, a gas grenade could really mess up someone's armor if they were in the jungle and taking damage from like the Marauder Spit and their armor is already really messed up. But overall, it's very interesting to see armor can really save you, especially purple, where you only are going to lose like less than half your health from a grenade, and it's 7 ticks of gas is kind of crazy. But like knowing this, uh, you can kind of use this in your own gameplay, knowing that if a grenade lands at your feet, like a regular grenade, and you, you cannot move because you will die peeking into three guys and you gotta just hold your ground, you will at least know that if you are wearing armor and you are like full health, you can never die to a single grenade, unless it's a gas grenade and you sit in the whole thing. So knowing that, if you see the grenade, you know that it won't kill you, you can use this in your own gameplay. I'm going to hop into the testing to show you guys that if you want to see it, and I'll walk you through what we did, and that'll be the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed.
So this was our first test, seeing if you would just die from one grenade uh, with no armor. This is no armor with a HE grenade. So we blew up instantly off that first one and died. And you can see in the death recap that I took a total of 114 damage. So one grenade with no armor will just kill you instantly. So this was our second test. And again, there was no armor and this is a gas grenade. So you can see when the nade lands at my feet that we take damage over time in just little ticks of damage. This does a third of my health per and we end up dying in three ticks overall. And you can see the total damage and the death recap here, which again is crazy how fast you die just from a gas grenade and then you know armor, you just get melted by grenades. So this was our third test, testing a white armor versus a regular grenade to see if it would affect at all and see if it would, you know, make us take less damage and not die in a single nade. So boom, right here, we get blown up by the nade and I have a melee me to finish us off because in the death recap, we can see exactly how much damage the grenade did to us. You can see that right here, the grenade only did 84 damage as opposed to the 114 from before, so armor definitely did help right there. So this was actually our fourth test, and this was a white body armor with no helmet versus a gas grenade. Now, the difference here is with no armor, it took us three ticks to die, and here each tick does about a fourth of our health, so it takes us four ticks to die. So the white body armor actually does help us versus the gas grenades and the HE grenades as well, and you'll see in my death recap, it says the total damage times four, which means I got hit four times. So this test was with both a white helmet and a white body armor. After seeing that armor actually affects it, I wanted to see if there's any damage difference between uh, a helmet and body armor or just body armor. And you'll see after he emails me in the damage report that the grenade still did 84 damage. So the helmet did not help us at all. It was 84 with no helmet and 84 with a helmet. So it does not help at all to wear a helmet. And we're going to test to see with the gas grenade now. So this is the test with the white helmet and the white body armor versus a gas grenade to conclude whether or not helmets help versus either type of grenade. And earlier with just the body armor, it did about a fourth of my health per tick, and it took four ticks to die. And you'll see that this is the exact same thing that happens here, and the total damage between wearing no helmet and wearing a helmet should be 106, which means that the helmet did not reduce our damage at all. You'll see it's 106 times 4, so it is exactly the same with and without a helmet. So we're testing green body armor versus an HE grenade, and we know helmets don't help, so you have no helmet on here. And you will see that when I get blown up with this grenade, it actually does significantly less than the white body armor did. So we concluded off this test that the rarity of body armor does help us here. And you will see that in the report that the grenade only did 66 damage as opposed to 84, which was insane. So as we go up in rarity, uh, armor helps us more and more. Now we wanted to see with the green body armor and a gas grenade if we saw the same increase where instead of four ticks it would be five so if you'll see here the ticks do a less of my health and you can tell right away that's going to be five ticks to die and it's a total of 105 damage and we take five ticks of damage right off the bat so every time we go up in body armor it also helps the gas grenades as well now this is testing the blue body armor versus an he grenade and you can see again when the snake lands at my feet that I'll take even less damage than before. We actually only take 55 damage from this. So after he melees me to finish me off, you can see in the death recap, we only take 55 damage as opposed to that 66 from before. So as you go up in rarity, it really does start helping you a lot more. So this is the same thing as blue body armor versus a gas grenade. And you can see as it lands on my feet, I'm taking even less damage than before. And it actually takes six ticks of the gas grenade to kill me which is quite a long time. You see, I just sit here and just eat it. So you could definitely not be scared of gas grenades that much versus, uh, you know, real players because it does take you quite a little bit to die. And you'll see I take 104 damage times 6. Now this is testing the high explosive grenade versus purple armor. And you'll actually be surprised at how much damage this deals. It's actually less than half my health. It's only 47 damage. And you can see in the death recap that this does way less than any other grenade did. Which is interesting because actually two grenades won't kill me. I can actually live by tanking two grenades at once, which is pretty interesting. Only 47 damage here. So this was actually our last test, and this was the gas grenade versus the purple armor. Now, I want you to notice how fast the durability of my armor goes down, because it does kind of get shredded from this gas grenade. And on top of that, it takes seven ticks to kill me, which is one than before. So it'll be a total of 104 damage times seven. So it is seven ticks to end up killing me, which is quite interesting how much you can tank with the later game armors. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that sub button, comment down below what you enjoyed the most, and hit that like button as well to help boost the video algorithm. 
Uh, that testing took a long time to actually get done. There's a lot of shit we had to look at and retesting to make sure our results were all right. We threw away a ton of armor, but I mean, like, really, who cares? The game's wiping soon with the beta ending. Uh, we'll be doing more cycle content on my channel if you enjoyed that. We'll be doing uh, full raids and highlights as well. Stuff that I really want to show you guys once the beta ends. So there'll be more content for you guys to enjoy. I'll see you next time.